right, here we go with today's video. Today we are doing a suggested video by Emmanuel Menzi asking me to do a resetting challenge. It says day two of asking Cam to do the resetting challenge, do a fantasy draft, and at the trade deadline, trade your entire starting five and then win the chip. So that seems like a very uh, difficult thing we can do. So what we're going to have to do, try and get the best team we can possibly make, and then hopefully we can get good trades at the trade deadline for those players. It would be awesome if we could just trade with rebuilding teams who have got star players uh, that we can trade for. That would be absolutely amazing. So we need a team here, uh, but before we do, if you haven't, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I'd appreciate it if you guys do that. But now we need a team and we get the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's see if we can get a good pick here. And that is a yes. We got the sixth pick and we could bring in LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, Joel Embiid. I'd very much appreciate all of these guys, but we need to get a random team. I'm guessing we're gonna, gonna get LeBron, but I'll see you guys with our team. Okay, I might have lied. It's not gonna be two seasons. It's only gonna be one season because I just realized there's only one trade deadline that we have to do this. It wouldn't make sense if we did more than one season. We did end up getting LeBron James. We got Kyle Lowry as well. Drew Holiday, I guess we could use in a trade. Miles Turner, we can use in a trade for sure. Uh, we don't have anyone very young that we can actually bring onto this team. So as you guys know, always got to move players positions so you can get more value out of them. Uh, because this is a challenge rebuild. This is not a realistic rebuild. If you guys would like to see a realistic rebuild, let me know down in the comments. Right off the bat, we are not trading LeBron James. If we can trade Kyle Lowry and Miles Turner for someone decent. Oh, that could work. Oh, actually, we can get DeMontes Sabonis from the Hawks for Marcus Gasol and Miles Turner. Sabonis, even though his tendencies are broken, is still a decent player. So if we pair Sabonis and Lowry, could we bring someone good into the team? Some Kemba Walker. That could work. Bam out of bio. Yes, we're bringing Bam onto the team. We also offload a bit of cap. I don't mind that too much. So Bam, we move from power forward and I'm right with LeBron and Bam starting at the three and the four. So we now need a better one point guard if possible. And then, um, yeah, let's see what we can find. And I mean, Andre Drummond's here. We have to give up our first, but I don't mind that too much. We're not definitely going to be good. So yeah, we'll do that. We'll get Andre Drummond as our starting center and our front court set. We just need our back court to be, you know, decent. And as of right now, this trade right here is definitely the best one being offered up to us. So we bring in Derek Rose and Julius Randle. We move them, move Derek Rose to the shooting guard anyway. And then we can pair D Rose with like a Terrence Ross and hopefully we can get a good point guard. I'm gonna get D'Angelo Russell. It's really not uh, a no-brainer there. It's not a no-brainer. We'll bring D'Angelo back to the Lakers. Now we just need a better starting shooting guard and we've got our team set already. I am trying to go after someone in particular here and I think CJ McCollum is a decent stepping stone to getting him. I'll show you guys who I'm gonna try and go for. Clay Thompson. I'm trying to get Clay Thompson here as our starting shooting guard, but I don't think uh, we have enough assets to do it. I don't think the Pelicans are going to do it because they said they are buying. So I'm guessing they want to contend and uh, they probably don't want to do this for picks. Yeah, no, I don't think we have the right assets to bring Clay Thompson onto the team. I'm going to have to try and trade some more assets to get Clay. And I think Covington is a good stepping stone towards that. Might be wrong here, but I'm going to move him to the small forward. He does go up. His trade value goes up nicely. So then we can do the same with Tom Sanorowski. I just realized we can move Sanorowski to the freaking power forward. Small forward, sorry. He goes up to a, an 80 overall. Where we can then bring in Kobe White. Can we do that without giving up Thomas Sanorowski? If we can get Kobe White with just giving up Covington, I'll do it. Or we can get that pick, which is extremely valuable. I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring in that Phoenix Suns pick. That's extremely valuable, and then we'll try and get Clay. Still not happening here, so I think we need a good rookie player here. If we can find a good rookie player, uh, that would be absolutely amazing, and uh, it would help us out very, very, very much. Getting a player such as Lou Will, that could work, which could then get us Eric Bledsoe. Also, we got Patrick Beverly in a trade just beforehand. I have a feeling getting Clay Thompson is kind of out of reach, so instead of Clay, could we go after Paul George? I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Nope. <laughs> 
Okay, in case you guys were not wondering, uh, we just got Bradley Beal, who's now our starting shooting guard. I didn't expect that to go through. That's why I wasn't talking over it. But we got Bradley Beal, LeBron James, Bam Adebayo, and Andre Drummond. That is a decent starting five. Just got to put that out there. Our bench, on the other, other hand, needs to work some work. I would like to make the bench very good, so that way we don't have to trade it, trade away most of our good players, I guess you could say. I would like to make this bench as good as possible. And I'm thinking Dwight Howard would be a very nice center to just come off of our bench. Very nice. We don't get Dwight that often either. So I'm very happy with Dwight as our backup center. And Carmelo Anthony to start at the small forward and also we get JJ Barea in that deal which is actually kind of decent because just saying we can move Carmelo to the small forward. He does go up to an 80 overall. We can move JJ to the shooting guard. He does go up. We can go JJ plus Trevor Ariza, we have that contract. Let's get that contract out of here. For Brook Lopez, because I'm pretty sure we can move him to the power forward. He goes up to like what, an 82 overall, and he he could be so he could be such a good trade piece here. Yeah, well, that's what I was talking about. Bring Spencer Dinwiddie off of our bench. So our bench is looking a lot better right now, a lot lot better. We have Dinwiddie, Howard, and Mello to come off our bench. Mello can also play backup power forward minutes there as well. So could Dwight. So looking at our bench, I would very much appreciate bringing in a shooting guard and then having a nine-man rotation for our team. I think we should be all right then. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Yeah, that could work. That could for sure work, all right? Or Marcus Smart, who plays much better defense. I'll use Marcus Smart more. But here is our rotation for the first half of the season. D'Angelo Russell, Bradley Beal, LeBron James, Bam Adebayo, and Andre Drummond. Starting five, we then have Spencer Dinwiddie, Dwight Howard, Marcus Smart, and Carmelo Anthony coming off of our bench. We got LeBron James, Bradley Beal, and Bam Adebayo as our scoring options. And we're running a four-star, seven-second system. Power rankings, we are the projected one seed because we have LeBron. Why the heck not? But yeah, let's simulate to the trade deadline. So here we are at the NBA trade deadline. We are 42 and 8, so I kind of don't want to blow up this team. But we have to trade our starting five now. So this is going to be great. Let's have a squiz. Let's see who's selling on the team intel. Uh, the Mavericks are selling and they have, what, Jaron Jackson and DeAndre Ayton. Decent, not going to lie. Like, not going to help us win right now because we only have one season to go ahead and win the chip. And they're like the only team that is selling. What the hell? Okay, there's another one. But they have Kyrie Irving. Kyrie could be a good point guard. We could trade d for Kyrie. That could be something we could go and try and do. So if we try that, we could try and get Kyrie Irving for D'Angelo Russell. I just realized we also don't have any picks. So, I mean, that that's that's a bit upsetting. Well, I've made moves off camera. Uh, we've now got a few first round picks. Uh, all I did was sign free agents and trade them for picks so if you guys were wondering that's how you get first round picks our first trade at the trade deadline we were trying to propose trade but nothing really happened there so we're going to bring in Devin Booker as now our new starting shooting guard so Devin Booker welcome to the team so this is not a trade that is you know starters but I want this first round pick from the Pelicans because it's four stars we had to give up the white but we got Zubak in return which is not the worst the reason I got that pick is because I thought I could bring in Kawhi Leonard uh, for a trade package a bit like this that would have caught everyone uh, a trade uh, and we would have gotten Kawhi But that's that's just not happening. So it looks like I'm gonna have to trade finder something here So looking at the trade finder we can get Giannis Antetokounmpo or Luka Doncic at the moment, I'm leaning towards that Luka deal, only because we get Vukovic in that deal as well, which is very, very handy. Uh, we also, this James Harden deal could also be something potentially. Mm, I don't know. I, I think he, I'm thinking should go Luka. Luka makes sense for depth. I mean, 2K loves Luka or Giannis, so either way, can't go wrong. I think, I'm thinking Luka Doncic. Although we don't get Giannis that much. Nor do we get Luka. This one makes more sense to me. I'm going to do this Luka Doncic deal. I'm sorry guys, but I'm doing this Luka deal here. So we've now got Luka Doncic on our side, who we can move to the small forward, and he goes up an overall, which I'm quite happy to play him at the small forward there. Uh, we now need to trade Bam out of bio. Can we get someone for Bam and D'Angelo? Could we get a like point guard slash power forward combo? That would be lovely. I don't mind that at all. We'll bring Kemba Walker onto the squad, and then we could go over here, move uh, Wendell Carter to the power forward, and then try and move Wendell Carter with, say, Andre Drummond, and could we get a better starting center? Okay, here's a trade here. I was gonna do this trade with Wendell Carter, but it doesn't make sense to do that. We can just give up Melo instead. So there we go, we can bring in Hassan as our starting center now, and I think, I think we've almost got a team here. Looking at it, I think we've, yeah, we've got enough players. We've changed everyone, that's all good there. We just got ourselves Kristaps Pazingas for Vukovic. Pazingas, very good starting power forward for us. And now we've still got Wendell Carter as well. That's the thing. 
We've still got Wendell Carter, who we could actually use off of our bench now, because we don't have the white. So actually, we're going to use Wendell off of our bench here with Dinwiddie, Smart, Zubak. Our rotation now is a Kemba Walker, Devin Booker, Luka Doncic, Kristaps Porzingis, and Hassan Whiteside starting five. We then have Wendell Carter, Spencer Dinwiddie, Marcus Smart, and Zubak coming off of our bench. We got a four-star system. We should probably go with the scoring options here. We got Luka Doncic, Kemba Walker, and Kristaps Porzingis, and we are still the projected one seed, so hopefully we can do this good for the second half of the season. And not going to lie, I think we made the right trade for Luka Doncic. He is the MVP, putting up a Triple double, awesome. Nice to see that he's putting it up for our team this year. 65 and 17 was our record. Zion rookie, Rubio, six man, Kawhi defensive. Luca also most improved, and Frank Vogel coach of the year. We end up with Luca Doncic on All NBA first team, awesome. And we end up as the one seed. So you guys have seen Luca Doncic's numbers: Kemba Walker 22.5, three and about five a night. Pazingas 21, nine and one. Booker 21, two and four. Whiteside 13, 12, 11 and 0. Oh. Decent numbers, very good numbers from our bench as well. Offensively, we were first. Defensively, we were second. And differential, we were first by a landslide. <laughs> Considering we just traded away half of our team at the trade deadline, that was very good. We got the Portland Trail Blazers here in the first round. Let's see what happens. We go up 3-0 and we go to the second round where we're taking on the four-seeded Houston Rockets. I don't really mind. I think we've got this... Okay, we lose game one. That's not a good sign. But we're up 3-1 now. And we go to the Western Conference Finals where we're taking on the Clippers who are pretty sure have... Giannis. Yep, they have Giannis and Lamarcus and Jonathan Isaac. This defense is going to be crazy. Crazy. I don't think we can get past them. Not gonna lie here. Not gonna lie. I don't think we can get past Yon. Oh, we're up 3-1. Okay. 3-2. Game 7. We go to the finals in Game 7 where we're taking on the Magic, who are the sixth seed, who had Paul George. Not gonna lie to you. I am not scared of this team at all. At all. Like, at all. I'm not scared. We're up 3-0. We're going to take the dub. I can tell you right now. We're taking the dub. Sweep. Sweep our way. And we win the championship with Luka winning finals MVP. Let's go. Let's go. What a way to end the video. That's awesome. So, yeah. You guys know the team. Luka, Chris Stapps, uh, Kemba, Sam Whiteside, Devin Booker, Wendell Carter, Dinwiddie, Smart, Zubak. Very, very nice team here. Let me know which team you guys think were better the start of the season or our trade deadline team. Let me know. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. But that's going to do it for me today. Hey guys hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day uh be sure to like the video subscribe if you made it this far i've dropped bangers every single day well i try to post every single day now uh, i'm gonna keep trying to do that if i miss out on one i'm sorry uh but at the moment i'll try to keep posting videos every single day but hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day i'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video